So we have to go through that transition of trying to transition our responsibilities between being in charge and taking care of the people in our charge. So I'm going to tell you this story. I know a guy who worked for a hotel called Four Seasons. And this same guy, this is back in the States, and this same guy worked for a place called Caesar Palace. That's where all the boxing matches happen in the States. And this is the story behind the same guy. At the Four Seasons, when you saw him, he had a smile. Great smile. Excited. And when they asked him, they said, what is the secret behind this nice smile of yours? He said, every manager at the Four Seasons comes up to me and says, how are you doing? What do you need to make your job better? And this is the most important part of that story. He said, every manager. He didn't say, my manager. He said, every manager at the Four Seasons comes up, and when they meet anybody, they say, what can I do to make your job better? How are you doing? When they said, how are you doing, they meant you, the person. Not how is the job. They meant you, the person. And when he closes off at the Four Seasons, he will go to Caesar Palace to walk. At Caesar Palace, the rules were different. The rules at Caesar Palace was to find out the mistakes that you made. So as soon as he clocked in at Caesar Palace, he just talked to what he had to do and waited so patiently for eight hours and get out. You just stayed under the radar as long as eight hours could last you. Then you're gone. That was Caesar Palace. So you had same employee. At the Four Seasons, he was a gold star. Because his managers, his managers at the Four Seasons, taking care of the people in their charge. At the Caesar Palace, they were in charge. They were looking out for your mistakes. Same employee. It's a true story. It's a documented story. We teach it in business all the time. That's why I'm bringing it to you because you're a leader, man. And we're going into something really big, conformity assessments. We need to be able to make sure that we can take the people in our charge, the CABs, conformity assessment bodies, we need to take them in our charge. And we're going to be talking about schemes very soon. That's why I'm telling the story. So, perspective. I just know one thing, that when the guy was at the Four Seasons, every guest who looked at him wanted to come back. And I get, tell you what, I tell you what, when you check the tips of the people at the Four Seasons versus the tips of the people at the Caesar Palace, it was astronomically high at the Four Seasons because the guests were so excited. The guy gave you a coffee and he said to you, sugar or cream, sir? At the Four Seasons, he put the tea in front of you and he walked away and he said, hey, I don't have sugar. <laughs> because his bosses were like, hey, the guests are happy, they're coming back, good. He took good care of the people in his charge. Now, it was not A, it was the management of the Four Seasons. So remember, 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 you're not in charge, you are responsible for those in your charge. What does that mean? This is the painful part about being responsible for those in your charge. It means that at the end of the year, when they say that this year you did wonderful in sales, sales went up, great, as the leader, you're going to show up, and you're not going to say you led a wonderful group. You're going to say, I have a wonderful team in sales. You're going to give them the credit. You're going to get the head of sales making the acceptance speech. It also means 
that when things go wrong, ouch, you're going to have to be there and you're going to say, I am responsible for the people in my charge and I didn't give them what they needed, so I am responsible. That's what leaders do. 